So this is a Gary Pine new one and it's a live centre. So I can just sit the two different colours because I only need one piece for each, each of the bullet pins. It's only the centre piece that I'm turning. Mm -hmm. So once you can line those up, you can put the live centre in and instead of doing up, that'll just line straight up here. Lock them in and there's your pressure to hold them and turn them. Now I'll quickly run these down. Very hard in the trio and Shea Oak. Just to get those lines out at times, you've got to sand these with it. There's a bit of bull oak from New South Wales, extremely hard off their farm at home. Very much like the she oak, but a lot bigger in grain. And the the quilted black butters were renowned for um, fracturing. Get all the marks out before you go on to the next paper. Now, what super glue do you use? Beautiful. That's from um, Timber Bits in Sydney. Sure is. Yep. 
as you can see the beautiful grain in this here now wait until we put the glue on it and, and see the grain you want tissues uh, yeah oh I've got some there I bought you a packet You need 400 carry, a tiny little bit of 400. Make sure there's no scratches in it. Okay. Okay, take the paper towel and I'll fold it. You want a fairly thick wad. And I'm going to cut it into sections like this. Yeah, get rid of that little bit there. Okay, once you've got the paper towel like that. I turn the speed of the lathe in. Now I've only sanded them to 400, but I've got no scratches anywhere. No radial scratches. I've gone vertically up and down to get rid of them. Now I use the super glue I use is from Timber Bits in Sydney. Exactly the same what you've got. I've got one. It's an accelerator for the super glue. I get this from Charlie Irwin, fiberglass resins and sales here in um, Perth. And it's about eight dollars a. $10, 8 to $10 a can. One can lasts 16th of the third 12, so it lasts a long time. Okay, I've got the zip kicker. I'll take my first little wad of towel and I've slowed the lathe to the slowest speed you've got. Then with the paper towel underneath, I get the super glue and I just run a very thin bead up and down and then on to the next one. Up and down and before the paper towel can stick I then stop it and didn't go through to my finger. Very light spray of zip kicker. That's all I need. Now that's set that off so the paper towel won't stick. It's gone off. And again, because of the thickness of the paper, the glue hasn't come through. And again, a very light spray, zip kicker. Now I'll do this about eight times. That's six coats there now. You can see the grain come out on the quilted black butt. There's nothing stuck to it. It's a nice smooth finish still. If you get any lumps or you stick the paper, you've got to sand it back and start again. But I've got six coats there. Um, we'll do another couple. So that's eight coats. I've given that now. As you can see, I've got quite a good build-up of the glue on it. It's quite rough. You can feel that, and it's not smooth. 
Well, I wouldn't say that. It's pretty, pretty good. Fairly smooth, but it's not a gloss at all. But it's got a bit of a shine on it. Let's put these away. You want the cut and polish wax. Now I use a triple E, exactly the same, cut and polish wax for turners and restorers. So what we want is a tiny little bit of the, the wax. A tiny little bit of wax on a bit of cloth. And again, you turn the lathe on. You could hit that with some very fine paper, but I'm just going to cut that back a bit. But we need to up the speed of the lathe. You can see how it's dulled it right off. So I've upped the speed of that now, so it's going to actually do its work. You can see that gloss coming through there. So all that's doing is cutting that top surface off the super glue. Do you stop just for a sec? How smooth that, that's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. we're just going to cut that in a fraction more. And I've got a funny feeling I just put a bit of pressure on that, I'll have a crack. I'll turn it over and get a clean edge on that bit of rag. Now I've done two coats of that cut. Now, now have a feel of that. Oh boy, it's glass. It's like glass. Now I found something the other day when I was short a tin of car polish with a tiny little bit of blob and with a fresh little bit of rag never use a big bit of rag Never use a big piece of rag on the lathe. Well, I'm going to get it right We just had a lathe with our club, just had all micro surgery. Now I've got nothing coming off on the bit of tissue paper. We'll turn that off and you'll be able to see, look at the gloss that you've got on there now and feel that. Gee, that is magnificent. It is a super hard finish. Now, have you got that tiny little parting off tool again, please? Uh, yeah. Okay, because we've, what we've done, we've, we've run the super glue down onto the bushes. So instead of trying to snap that off and cracking it on here, I'll take the tiny little parting off tool and I very, very gently cut that super glue right at the edge. Take that out. Get this one, Harry. There's no mucking me. I'm trying to undo. I can just pull it straight off. Oh, that bush just came straight out because I've just cut it. That one there. Those two are glued together. And then that one there. Same thing. So I can't lose the bushes. I'll put the bushes back on there. And what it's called is the live mandrel. Now you can use your original mandrel that you've still got. Throw away the knurled nut and you can buy them by themselves for twenty dollars from Gary Pye. That's true. Or the whole mandrel with everything was thirty-five. Do that's true. Yeah. Okay, so there's your two pen blanks now. Finished with a super hard finish on, on the outside. Now I do get some twelve hundred of you. And then just little figure eights. Just to clean any excess and then I just take a very light trim just to put a tiny little chamfer on that end. Now you can feel that so that there's no sharp edge on it coming across the end. But if you feel that, you can feel how rough that oh, is still. Absolutely. Right. Very little figure eight and I'll turn this around so that you get every edge on it by doing a little figure eight. And again, very gently. And there's the one blank done. Perfect. And it is a super hard finish. Turn it towards me a bit. That's, yeah. so That's just beautiful. I'd love to say that I made it. And this one is a bit of um, 
bloke from the Riverina in New South Wales. Magic. Then we take the pen press, but I didn't bring the mechanisms ah. to put them together. And that's how easy it is to get that glass, hard glass finish on your pens. You're wonderful, John. <laughs>